hello guys welcome to my channel and today we are going to understand how to use VLOOKUPs to look to your left now in my previous videos I had explained that there are certain limitations to VLOOKUP formulas that it is by default only able to look to the right of the range that you enter so if there was a, a for example a VLOOKUP formula then you have a search key and when you select a particular range you will have to make sure the search key is the first column of your range and then it only looks to the right so if i was to select this range i would go ahead and select this and i will not be able to bring the price value of this particular range in this case by default so today we are going to learn how to bring that price value and how never to count the number of form uh, number of columns on a vlookup so uh, for, for this particular formula, let's try to break down the VLOOKUP and understand uh, how and what we need. So in this VLOOKUP formula, we need VLOOKUP, then we need the search key, which is the key that we are searching for, and we need the range where we will be looking up for the information. And then we mark down the column number that we need out here. And then we establish whether it's an exact or a false match. So over here, if I go ahead and select the second column of this range, it will only be able to bring me the value of the category that it belongs to. So, uh, and I need to go to the price. So I will teach you a hack which will be able to bring this price for you. Now let's go ahead into a different tab and I will explain how you can do this. You select equals VLOOKUP and you open the bracket and the first thing you enter is the search key. So in this case, you have the search key, which is your ID. Then you open a curly bracket. And what I'm trying to do here is I'm trying to make a virtual table or an array inside the VLOOKUP formula. And it helps you visualize that you never really need a range in a particular order if you want to bring a value. So if I was to use VLOOKUP and I was to create a virtual table, a virtual range that does not exist, uh, I can totally do that on Google Sheets. So I select VLOOKUP and then I, I go ahead and enter the ID and then I create a virtual table where the ID on the range is the first column and the price is the second column. So it would this virtual table would look like this. So if I create or select the columns in a way that they represent a table three which is ID first and price second, then I should be able to resolve it. So let's just go ahead and visualize it. So I select VLOOKUP, open it with a key and use curly brackets because remember we are doing, we are creating an array and in order, in order to do the array, you need to select or always have curly brackets in it. So I go ahead and select the ID column first and comma, the price column as the second. Now I have a table virtually, which is the first is the key and the second is the value that I have to bring. And I bring the second column of this virtual table with an exact match. So let's just go ahead and do this practically to, in order to explain it a little better. So if I was to select the VLOOKUP formula and in order to bring this value uh, for us, I would go ahead and select equals. Remember to always have array formulas uh, in place in order to use the benefits of this particular uh, value. And you go ahead and you select the ID, comma, and now I need the first range, the, the first column, which would be the ID. So I go ahead and select this as my first range of column. I select comma and then I go ahead and select the price range which creates a virtual table now I close the curly bracket it's a virtual table and then I bring the second column of this and bring an exact match and let's see if it is able to bring it now to remember that I haven't applied VLOOKUP here which is a common mistake I tend to do okay so VLOOKUP is here everything is here and let's see if it works right so we have the value which is the price for this particular value which is id 24320 and we have the value here let's just go ahead and do it here so array formula mm -hmm. array formula 
and then we use VLOOKUP. Uh, you go ahead and select this ID, which is 4328. You can look for this information. It's right here. It should be $6.30. So uh, let's open another table, which is this range. And the second column will be this range of this table. And then I bring the second column and to save some time, I'll just type zero here. And you can see it's 6.3, which was the same value as 6.30. I, I, I can actually just change the format of this particular column and it will be the exact value over here. Okay, so this is like a VLOOKUP that we are trying to use in order to uh, bring single values. But since we are already using the array formula, you could easily use this whole formula to bring the value of the entire column rather than putting it in, in every cell. Right, so you can just go ahead and say array right, formula v lookup, and I need the whole range as I explained in the last video. If you haven't seen it, you should go to my channel, subscribe it, and go ahead and watch the video where we use v lookups with array formula. So a4 to a19, and then we open a new table which is the range, and it's my range, and the second column that will be the first column according to two then the second value and uh, should be an exact match so there we go and this is basically a hack for you to never having to count any table so in in order to have like vlookup formulas you tend to count whether it's the fourth fifth sixth seventh value or the tenth value it's not going to be the same anymore and you will be able to bring any particular value uh, in order to bring this prices so let's say we have we have a table three so let's say I was supposed to bring the value which was uh, which was taking the ID from column H and bringing me the value in the same row for column M and I have like lots and lots of columns to count here and I just don't want to do it because I'm lazy let's say okay so we will just use the same formula and try to bring the same values from column M rather than from column G. So let's go ahead and select again our formula. We look up the key that I need, column that I want for my first table, for the table for the first one. And I want this column as my second one. And I go ahead and select the second column anyway. I don't care if I have to count, I will not count. So you see the values have been exact match for all those numbers that we were supposed to have here. So this is how it works. And uh, I hope this was helpful for you. Do feel free to like my channel and uh, subscribe to the updates. Next we will be trying to hack some other important issues that we often face like uh, using array formulas and uh, con using conditions of uh, AND operator and OR operator. So it doesn't work with array formulas, but we will find a way to do it and it will save you a lot of time. So thank you for today. Bye bye and see you soon.